Okay, it's freezing cold up here today. So I'm gonna jump around in this convertible. I guess uh, this is a 1968 Chevy Camaro, 350 under the hood. No power steering on this one. No power brakes. It's black with the red racing stripes. Also got the red interior. Also, on this one sounds pretty good. Not bad. But there is flaws. There's stuff that I need to point out to you so you know what you're getting. Look at the detailed pictures, the financing and shipping at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. Leave me some comments below and I'll get back with you. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we leave, we'll check out the interior, place those beds. Do you think the horn works? I haven't tried it yet, I don't know. B&M shifter, this used to be a four speed car. Show you the mileage. Coming 66,000, coming across the dash, it's red too. And speakers and the kick panels. The interior actually looks pretty good on this one. Head, well, headliner, convertible top. We'll fade it on the inside. What about the outside of this thing? Let's look at it before we go. Kind of check things out. I'm not gonna drop it on the drive because it's like 30 degrees outside. You can see where they've sealed up. That area, the back window is hazy. It's an older top here. There's a little spot there that's patched up. Go ahead and start it up. Try some of the electronics. Not very many in these old cars. A little bit of water here in the floor. So it does leak. Try the radio. Well, it's supposed to be all the way up, so it's not working. Blower motor. No blower motor, wipers, no wipers. Well, gas gauge, I don't know, but we'll stop and get some fuel. Turn signals popping up on both sides. We will check the uh, speedometer as well and the horn. Not hooked up. All right, let's hit the road. See what else we can find. Okay guys, get my seat belt on. Again, we're gonna go to the gas station and get some fuel. Yes. 
gauge is definitely on the E. It's saying there's nothing in there. So place those bets on the gas gauge. Do you think it works? I'm gonna say it doesn't. It's not moving at all. But it might come up. Might surprise me. We'll definitely get $20 with the premium fuel. I don't want to run out, so I'll be back. All right, of course, we're running 93, same thing, different day, $20, five gallons, cap's here. Okay, let's see if I can get the cap back on. Get out of this crazy gas station. Too many people here today. I think it's just this town right now, it's overwhelmed. Oh, more people than the town can handle. Look at that gas cage. It actually works, I was wrong. Come up a little bit. It's not like way up there or anything, but it's not on E anymore. All right. Let's get out of here. Now it's time to head back to the lot. And guys, this is a manual top, just drops right back. Um, oh, again, I'm not gonna put it down. It's freezing cold today, so I'm out on that. All right, we'll head on back now. She is running quite smooth. Had a mishap. This morning my wife's SUV, it started making all kinds of noises. I'm hoping it's just the cool facts. But man, that had me nervous. I was like, oh, I don't want to deal with that. Well, got to. Let's go. She 
does sound pretty good going down the road. It actually feels good going down the road. Again, a little bit of slack in the steering. I'm gonna try the brakes here in just a moment. You're going straight here. All right. Still, the brakes are pulling a little bit to the left there. Stop pulling to the left. I was hoping I could ride them a little bit and they'd stop. Just grabbing a little bit more over there. Very responsive. Got to manually turn off your turn signals. I still wanting to go to the park over there and check out all the damage. Me too. It's wild. I'm just glad that we got spared. We we're literally right here. Bump in the road. And she had no problem kicking the tires over. Well, she runs good. She got a little bit of slack in the steering and the brakes pulled to the left. Other than that, we got some electronics that need to be checked out. You know, our wipers, a blower motor. It's actually warming up in here, but it's not blowing from the blower motor and the radio cuts on but it's not giving me any sound. Horns, probably just connection. But at least that's just little stuff there. Let's go ahead and pull back into the lot here. I'm gonna grab another car, do another test drive today. I got at least two more to do. And then I can go eat something or go home. Because <laughs> it'd be dark. Alright. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe. That helps me out. Share this video. Hit like. Those are the, the main things that all the YouTubers want you to do. And because it helps. It actually helps my channel quite a bit. And I do appreciate it, guys. Um, picking out the flaws is coming up next. Alright, guys. Here we go. We're going to take a walk around this ride. Look for chip scratches, rust, and dents. <laughs> Of course, anything I find on these, you can also see 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. I'm told not to hide anything, so I don't. Scuffs. A little wax left in there. Chip on the edge here. Little scuffs. A little bit of wax left over here in the front. Should we go down the sunny side? Let's go down the sunny side. Tires, great shape. More wax on this car. Got some here in the corner and in the jams bumps there in the corner of the door let's see a little spot at the bottom here it's a little orange thing here in the corner on that trim up and over white scuff coming down the side a little bit of pitting on that back bumper wax there in the corner also here too Extra drips there, a little thick on the paint, fitting on the door handle. It says 327, came back 350. Just 
the emblem on the fender, a little scuff there. That's just dust. Where I didn't chamois under the scoop. Front window. Looks pretty good. It's not bad at all. Everybody pulls in here to look at this car and then drives straight out. So they pull in and drive out. That's like the third one too since I've been in here in the parking lot. Little scuffs, scuffs on the trim. Yeah, because he was going that way and now he's going back that way again. That's funny. I wonder if they think I'm broke down or something because of the hood's up. Little scuffs. Spot here. I don't know, it's got a Christmas look to it with the red, the red interior. Top's been on here a little while. Definitely hazy in the back. Little spot there. Chip on the corner. Coming up on the back end. Bumper on the back's pitted. Stick there on that spot. Little chips, wax. Car used to be red. It's like red and white, maybe. Trunk. Somebody's putting big patches on it. You see all the little patches in the trunk. This right here goes over the convertible top when it's down. Okay. Little chip there. Chip here. It's not white, it's a red chip. <laughs> so the car used to be white and red. Keys are in the ignition. Good. Here we are. Chip up top here. A little dirt falling out of the trunk lid there. Chips, wax, and the jams. Look like a little rust falling out of the trunk lid. All right, this side. wax there tires look good whole lot of wax left over on this car I'll tell you what when I get back I'm gonna tell the detail guys to get that off because too much wax we've ever had this car before to wax the fire out of it I guess it does have a good shine but they didn't get it all off you got some little spots here look more people everybody i think we're up to five cars now that keep <laughs> pulling in here i'm surprised this thing's still on the lot honestly a little blemish there spots here pitting on the handle yeah, if you don't want attention, don't buy this car. If you like the attention, yeah, this is going to pull it. Spots there. Scuff up top. Again, that's just dirt. It was underneath the uh, cow hood. We've already looked on the top here, so we'll keep on rolling. A little chip there. A little chip here. 
and let's go ahead and check out that interior trim on that back window is definitely beat up these pieces can be replaced door panel other than the handle is in good shape somebody has already repaired the door I'm sure it's got Bondo in it that looks like definite repair job with Bondo coming at the bottom up in the front too it's too smooth it's too clean. Which majority of classic cars do have Bonda. Especially when they're in this price range. I just try to point it out. Carpet there is a little fluffy. And the mat on top had a little moisture on it, so. But there's one thing, I've never seen prices, not since I've been alive, go down on first gen Camaros. They don't. They stay where they're at and they'll stay there for a little while. Five, six years from now, it'll be worth a lot more and so on. That's why I'm in this business. We've been doing this over 40 years and they have done nothing but go up. Especially when the price of sugar goes up. What do you do? I know I say that, but that's Burger King too. <laughs> there was somebody somewhere. I said, y'all raised your prices. He said, so did Burger King. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. That was a good one. I'll start using that. No. <laughs> yeah, this side's also been patched up. Yeah, we actually didn't raise our prices. We still make the pro same profit margin. We have about a $3,000 markup, but we're paying more than ever for the cars. I mean, so is everybody. But I see your comments. I understand. I'd love to have them cheaper too. Just can't. But put it this way. Other dealers have been hitting us up trying to get our cars to put on their lot. So we're doing something right. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start this one up. The door is not exactly lined up on this one. Oh, I think we can tighten it up. Moving that one in a little bit. This car sounds good. Sound and motor. torn a little bit there. You can see where it used to be white. And red. I guess the hood was red. I don't know where all the white's coming from, honestly. Yeah, it's whiter up here and red down there. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but everything else is blacked out pretty good on the inside, so they painted it decent. My paint job's been on this one a little while. It's not fresh. You can see some hazy spots on the side of the hood. You got a chip up here. You got a chip in the middle there. Chip there. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. There's detailed pictures at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping and a bunch of merchandise. So go there, check it out pick it up but I always try to get these cars in and I try to keep them as low as I can on the price
That's why people keep coming back to Maple Motors, guys. Thanks. I'll see you later.